A rocky start and some seriously telling interviews, the Prime Minister of Canada is taking a second job as Mayor of Splitsville, and we should have seen it coming. On August 2, 2023, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his wife Sophie announced they were calling it quits. They took to Instagram to announce their separation. The statement, which they both shared in English and French, said in part, After many meaningful and difficult conversations, we have made the decision to separate. As always, we remain a close family with deep love and respect for each other, and for everything we have built and will continue to build. The statement ended by asking for privacy for the couple and their children. Justin's office released a statement as well, saying that the exes signed a separation agreement, but that they would remain focused on their children and would likely still make public appearances together. Justin and Sophie got married in 2005, but throughout their relationship, red flags may have hinted that the couple would not last. In 2014, one year after Justin Trudeau was elected the Liberal Party leader and one year before he became the Prime Minister of Canada, he was interviewed on power and politics. He spoke about his memoir, Common Ground, and shared how his job made it hard for a work-life balance. He added that Sophie didn't particularly like his job. There are times when she, she hates my job, and she hates me for loving my job. Justin clarified that there were other times when Sophie understood the importance of his job and did not hate it, but in hindsight, it's easy to see how his political career could have put a strain on their relationship. However, it's possible the trouble started long before that. In a 2021 interview, Justin spoke about how when he met Sophie as an adult, he had to get his life sorted out a bit before he could get serious about their relationship. He said, Let's just say we were both in a bit of a complicated phase in our personal lives. As soon as I met Sophie, I knew it was something serious with a lot of potential. I had to fix a few things in my life before I could just focus on her. This was not officially confirmed, but when questioned about it, Justin implied that he may have had to end a prior relationship before moving forward with Sophie. He also admitted to not replying to an email Sophie sent him after they met in 2003, which could support the theory that he had been seeing someone else at the time. They happened to see each other a few weeks later, but Sophie refused to give Justin her phone number, asking him to email instead. More recently, one of Sophie's 2022 Instagram posts may have hinted at trouble in paradise. For their wedding anniversary that year, Sophie shared photos of her and Justin as kids. The caption said, You all know I keep things honest. Long-term relationships are challenging in so many ways. They demand constant work, flexibility, compromise, sacrifice, devotion, patience, effort, and so much more. None of us are perfect, and so there is no perfect relationship. Perhaps even more telling than words is silence. Sophie did not share anything on Instagram for their 2023 wedding anniversary. I'm gonna sing for you tonight. Boom. Another red flag in their relationship was that Sophie began attending fewer events and trips with Justin. For example, in July 2023, she did not attend the dinner for politicians and their spouses at the NATO summit, nor was she in attendance when Justin announced the changes he was making to his cabinet. Political science professor Nelson Weissman also noted to the New York Times how Sophie's public appearances with Justin had gone down as of late, but Weissman also doesn't think the separation will affect Justin's political career or image. He told the outlet, Canadian voters don't care about that. Once upon a time they did, but the culture and times have changed.